look what I get to wake up to. All right, so here's another thing that starts to happen. You start, to, oh, let me turn this down, sorry. You start to take action. You start to, but, but it's different. Instead of fight, it's like instead of fighting yourself. See, your whole life, these narcissists have turned you against your dreams, against your beliefs, against everything. So whenever you'd start to work to make money, you kind of get this thing inside like, like you're about to be punished, like you're feeling bad because they've connected negative emotions to it, okay? Sorry, I'm cooking some pizza, okay? Even for me, cooking, cleaning, I, I cook I cook all the time now. Like I, I grew up in a restaurant family and I hated cooking and I never knew why. And when I cleared up all this narcissism, I, I, this last year I've cooked more than I've ever cooked. I'm looking up baking you know, ingredients and this and that. You start doing things you've always wanted to do. Like me, I'm making a ton of videos now, but I'm not just making them. The feeling in my body is different. I feel good about it. It feels open. It feels strong. It feels solid. Whereas before, there was this nervous and shakiness. and It was like I was, I was fighting myself constantly. Now, both engines are going in the same direction. There's a congruency with you. And people begin to see it around you. They start to look at you like, what's going on? Because most people are in conflict with themselves, okay? And that is a major function of, of whether you're succeeding in life or even if you're making money you, you might be miserable because you have this belief like oh that's bad I, I used to have this belief like succeeding was bad because people around me watch this people around me used to get extremely pissed off and upset i mean i might make a separate video on that it was abusive to an unfucking i'll give you one example i'd come home at night uh and i'd win a boxing match okay and i'd have my trophy and i'd come home to show my mom and everyone Normally, be in a living room watching TV downstairs, but they did all shut all the lights off in the whole house. We had seven kids. The, the lights were never shut off any time, day or night. There's always lights on, and they're all upstairs. Like, be quiet! I'm like, hey, I won. They're like, dude, be quiet. We're watching the TV show. Well, the whole thing was to make me feel like, yeah, who cares, right? And then the next morning, my mom would wake me up. I swear to God, about six in the morning when everyone's asleep, walk me all the way down to the uh, like. We had a big, long Victorian house. And she, uh, the end room, and close the uh, what do they call those French glass window doors. She'd show me my trophy, put it behind my dad's bigger trophies, and just start wailing on me. I'm serious. When I got good grades in school, every report card, I got a good beating for that too. For good grades, for straight A's. I'm serious. Okay. And so, I what was connected was you're going to suffer immense pain if you go after your dreams. Okay. A lot of you have had that happen to you, I guarantee it. When you finally face up to the narcissist, when you cut them off and you're like, no, no more, something changes inside. That's all I want to say. I clean now. I mean, it's, it's I, I, I'm trying to, God, I didn't mean to make this go so long. I cook, I clean, I, I get things done. I take more action towards my business than I ever have in my life. There's just a difference in congruency. There's a strength inside. There's a good solid, there's a good solid feeling. You know what it is? It's self-love. Hey, this is Mike Colleen. God bless you guys. Remember, click subscribe if you want to get more tips and more understanding of what's going on. Click the like button and make a comment. In fact, go ahead and make a comment on if any of this on this list that I've read off or anything else I've said, if you want to make a comment on it that's happened to you, okay? Alright.